Hello everybody! Welcome back to another video! I'm so excited to be here. It's about uh, 8.30 and I still have to edit this video. <laughs> but I do like a little bit of Commedia dell'arte and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So I'm kind of gassed that I get to film a video about this. So should we just get right into it? Should I not have a, like a long intro like I normally do? I think it I think we should just go straight into it. So basically what happens is there are s lots of characters and they all have different attributes to their physical appearance um, to do with masks as well. It makes me so happy. Let's give, I'll give you an example. So Zani, right? Zani is a foolish and ignorant character. However, it's he's not con consciously ignorant. He's not being ignorant. Well, ignorance means not knowing. So he's basically just a fool. He chills like this, yeah? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Bent knees, right? And he's quite like um, like a bouncy character with his arms out like this. His nose leads because it shows. Normally, when people are um cautious, they will lead with their feet first because it avoids your face being damaged if there was anything to harm you which is just kind of basic knowledge but not really so Zani leads with his nose because he's so dumb <laughs> he's so dumb and it's more of like a and he runs and he doesn't run all the time but when he runs he goes like this and then he's like like <laughs> it's so funny what Commedia de Arte does is it focuses on the body rather than facial expressions because Listen, we can all hide behind our facial expressions. Come on, lighting. We can all hide behind our facial expressions sometimes when acting. Listen, if you act, yeah, I know you do. You don't use your body as much. But Camino de Arte is, is so different that it makes you portray your character from your body movements. And it does it so well. And you don't need that much dialogue to show what's going on and the mood when you have all this body language going on. Oh, it's just so great, man. Um, so moving on to masks, let's give another example for Zani, right? His nose is very long and that represents, or that also represents foolishness. So yeah, as I said, his is very long and sort of like bird-like. And there's another character called the Doctor or Le, Le Doctre, but I don't, I, <laughs> come on, man, you know, you know I'm not Italian. So. <laughs> I'm I'm not Italian. What did I tell you? I'm not Italian. So basically, the doctor has a big, large nose to represent wisdom. So there's just different masks for a bunch of different personalities. And well, as I said, when wearing masks, you cannot use your facial expressions. Also, when you wear a mask, you have to project so much more because you're hiding behind a mask. So it makes you think more about the way you say things and your diction and articulation and pronunciation. <sighs> oh, by the way, I really wanted a mask, but I don't have, I don't own any masks, so I made one. This is the doctor. Mm hmm I wish I could cut the eyes out. I don't have any scissors. It's probably a good thing, because my mom doesn't really trust me with scissors. But here we go, that's the doctor, right there. See his big little nose? He he has a lot bushy eyebrows. It just shows wisdom because he looks old. So you're like, where is it actually from? Well, I kind of told you like a few minutes ago if you would actually listen, but you didn't. So it originates from Italy. But when? <laughs> patience. Patience, my sweet. Patience. It originated in Italy in the 15th century. That's a time ago, right? And we've still adopted those characteristics in uh, theatre today. Which is crazy to me, because, like, things do continue. It is a cycle. The whole world is a cycle. Hmm. I don't know how that makes me feel, you know. What are the influences on today's theatre from Commedia dell'arte? Oh, don't worry. What am I tell you? Just wait! Just wait! Patience! Patience! So, sometimes we can have more naturalistic uh, performances, but a lot of body language... Um, on stage, you see, is over-exaggerated. This is because back in Camino del Arte times, <laughs> they had big open spaces, so it needed 
your point needed to come across through your body so everyone could see. So it's sort of the same thing. We ha still have big theatres, some are small, and so it won't need that much over-exaggeration. However, you want the audience to be able to see what you're feeling. And if you can portray that in a physical way, it's so much more effective than just saying what you mean and using your facial expressions. It shows the inside emotions coming out. That's how strong they are. And it also made actors not just rely on their facial expressions. I've said something about that before, but yeah. Yeah, you don't, yeah, yeah, you get what I mean. I'm low-key kneeling on the floor right now. I'm normally on my chair, but today I'm feeling up and ready because this is a subject I really care about. And of course I care about my other videos a lot, but when it's something I really want to talk about, I just get gassed and now I'm sitting down again, so I guess I kind of um, contradicted myself. <laughs> Here's a list of Comedia del Arte influences that we still use today. So there's the use of mime, practical jokes or pranks if you're feeling funky. Oh, I just said feeling funky. <laughs> We've got exaggerated gestures, masks and improv. Back in the day, they used to improv most of their stuff and some scenes that would be too physically demanding, like lifts and um, acrobatics and stuff like that, they would have to, they couldn't improvise that because too dangerous, right? Most scenes would be improvised because they knew what character they were and they knew what the basis of the scene was. They just had to go for it. And I think it was amazing that they could do a whole play with 60% of it being improv. Like, I genuinely can't. I can do that. I'm sorry, I really couldn't do that. I need a script to know what I'm doing. Techniques they use is pretty much physical comedy all of the time. Um, Comedia del Arte it has comedy in the title, so it always is funny and because of this physical comedy, it makes it even funny. When we see things being physically acted out, it leaves more of an impression on us because it's visual rather than just, um, you can hear it, right? As I said, projection as well, it's a big factor because masks and everything. Obviously, they did singing and dancing and acrobatics. It was very, very physical. And as I said, improv. They always improvise. What's my personal experience? Oh man, I had so much fun. I learned how to not rely on my face, and I rely on my face so much while acting. Uh, it's my biggest factor. I don't. I'm more of a naturalistic person, but when I learned how to do this, I found like a whole different world. <laughs> I was like, I don't have to just use my face to be funny. I can use my body to be funny and portray an emotion. So, what were the challenges for me? <sighs> I gotta be honest. There's a lot of physical demand. You are always in that character, and sometimes. The character's body movements can be very uncomfortable and it's like you're squatting. For Zani, uh, for example, you're like squatting the whole time and your arms are out like this and you're leaning forward. It's just your back hurts, your legs hurt, your arms hurt. But you, you have to push through because it's a character at the end of the day. Like your back will grow back. And it was really hard for me to stay in character because it was so physically demanding. However, I stuck through, I believe so. I think so. Claire, you'll have to tell me if I did. And I had to overcome it because I wanted it to be to the best of my ability as it could have been. At the end of the day, I want to get my grades and I want to do good and I want to try different things and learn new things and adopt those new things. And talking about adopting new things, what's in my actor's toolkit today? Hey! Hey, round of applause! <laughs> Let's go. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a TV show. I'm, oh, I'm taking this hat off. The hat is off, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't stand it anymore. I was too hot. This room is boiling. So my actor's toolkit, it's changed a little bit. It's got a little bit of dust on it. I'm having a, you saw that right? No, Claire, you saw that right? You saw that lump of dust come off, right? So should we have a look inside? Mhm, mm I think so. Oh, what does this say? It says physical comedy. Had to put that in there. Oh, what's this one? Not relying on my face. So, in my to talk it now. Just letting you know, Claire. Gonna be doing way more physical stuff. What's this one? What does that say? Improv. Now, Claire. Gotta say, hasta la vi... Hasta la... Oh. Hasta la vuego. No! Hasta la vi... Hasta la vista. This is why I only speak English. Anyways, guys, have a good one. Hope you learned a little bit today about uh, 
Comedia dell'arte. So I'll see you another time. Next time. You know I'll see you another time. Bye.